you know it is so frustrating when you're trying to reach or you can't find that favorite mug of yours. So I'm just going to show you this awesome DIY that I came across on Pinterest. I absolutely loved it. And it just makes it so much easier for you to grab your favorite mug to make yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, whatever your preference is. And I guarantee that you're going to love it as well. I just want to say thank you to my awesome husband for helping me create this and bringing it to life. We're going to be using a saw, Gorilla Glue, and some spoons that I got at the dollar store. Now we're just going to start off by cutting the wood to our desired length. I will try and have the measurements down below. If you don't have a saw, you can always have them pre-cut them for you wherever it is that you buy them. Just make sure to have the measurements. Here he is just sanding them a little so that they can be a little bit more smooth. just taking a piece of wood and we're placing it on the back so that we can measure it and that's the piece that's going to hold everything together. Here's a better visual of what the bag will look like. The nails that we are using are a little bit too long, but that's that's gonna work out perfect. Um, here in a little bit, we'll be showing you what to do with that. that nail is just bang it with a hammer so that it bends. It's going to help avoid any accidents and it's also going to reinforce the wood together so that it doesn't fall apart on you. So we're just going to continue and nail together with the rest of the pieces. another piece of wood that's going to go in the middle and you're also going to nail that together.
Next, I just laid out the spoons on the board so that I could get an idea of how many spoons I was going to use. And what you want to do now is make the spoons flat. And you can do that by using a hammer. And it's okay if they get dirty because you can always wash them. Here is a comparison of how flat you want the spoons to be. And now we're just going to bend them. Now we're going to take another piece of wood and this one we're just going to measure and cut and it's going to go nailed on the front of the board. We tried using a blow dryer to make the drying process go by faster but it was taking too long so we decided to let it dry on its own. Like I mentioned before, don't use as much glue as we did because like I said it was going to expand, um, but it was not difficult to come off. We used a small blade and some acetone and it came off perfectly. And this is what it looks like after it's all being cleaned. Now we're going to be using two different paint colors. This is going to go on the letters that are going to go on the board which we cut last as you can see here we placed some stencils over it and now we're just going to go over it with paint Now for the letter O in coffee, he is just doing a hand-free drawing of the coffee mug and I gotta say it turned out pretty darn good.
now we're going to use some roofing nails to nail a piece of rope that's going to go on the back of the board and this is what we're going to use to hang it up on the wall. And we are completely done. All that is left is for you to choose your, your favorite spot in the kitchen to hang it on and start adding your favorite mugs. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this DIY that was Pinterest inspired. And if you guys have any suggestions for other videos that you'd like to see, you can leave them down below. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.